Mariana de Leiva, a sailor known by her religious name as Maria of South Virginia, was a historical figure whose life summed up the challenges and contradictions of noble women in the 16th and 17th centuries. The daughter of Martino de Leiva, an influential Spanish general who served the Spanish Empire in Lombardy, Mariana was sent to the monastery of Santa Margarita in Monza at the age of 13, where her mother died prematurely. This practice, which was common in noble families at that time, was aimed at ensuring moral and religious education and preserving family honor. At Mariana Monastery, she adopted the name Swetin Virginia Maria and soon became famous for her outstanding intelligence and personality. However, his life in the monastery was marked by one of the greatest religious scandals of his time, involving an illegal relationship with Giovanni Paussier, which led to a series of crimes and a strict life in prison. The story of the sweaty Virginian Mary, immortalized in literature by Alessandro Manzonioni Promeposti as Monsa's monarch, provides a profound insight into the tension between religious ethics and the personal complexity of the nun, in addition to highlighting the social constraints and pressures faced by noble women at that time. Mariana de Leiva, Marino, was born in 1575 to a noble Spanish family. His father, Martino de Leiva, was a general of the Spanish Empire who controlled the Lombardy region of northern Italy at the time. The Leiva family was influential and high in status, which gave them high status in both Spain and Lombardy. Childhood and Education Mariana's childhood was marked by the untimely death of her mother, who orphaned her at an early age. The incident had a great impact on his life. According to the custom of the noble family at that time, he decided that Mariana should enter into religious life. Sending daughters to monasteries was a common practice among the nobles and was often seen as a way to ensure moral and religious education, in addition to preserving family honor and legacy. At the age of 13, Mariana was sent to the monastery of St. Margarita in Monza, Lombardy. This monastery is one of many for young nobles. At the Mariana Monastery, she adopted the religious name of Virginia Mary. Their choice or imposition of monastic life reflects not only social norms, but also the powerful influence of the Catholic Church on noble family life. Virginia Marican soon stood out in the monastery, not only because of her noble background, but also because of her intellectual skills and strong personality. However, life at St. Margaret's Monastery is not without conflict and challenges. The strict discipline and closure imposed on the nuns often led to internal tensions. For many women, including Virgin Mary, living in a convent can be restrictive and oppressive. The story of Virginia Mary is particularly noteworthy because she had scandals in her monastic life. Sister Virginia Maria, who had an illegal relationship with local nobleman Giovanni Paolo Seal, was the subject of one of the biggest religious scandals of her time. The secret relationship between them has led to a series of problems, including the crimes that shocked religion and civil society after the discovery of the relationship and the related crimes. Susan Virginia Maria was tried and convicted. The case has aroused great repercussions, revealing the tension between religious ethics and the complexity of the nun's personal life. Mariana de Leva was sentenced to spend the rest of her life in a small room in the convent, where she lived under extremely austerity conditions until her death in 1650. The story of Virginia Mary Sweating is immortal in literature. The protagonist of the novel Promise is inspired by Alessandro Manzoni's Newlyweds, in which she plays Monsa's nun. Mariana de Leva's tragic and controversial story is still an example of the challenges faced by noble women forced into monastic life, highlighting the complex interaction among power, 
religion and gender at that time. Mariana de Rey's life is either sea or sweat. The Virgin Mary provides a window into 16th and 17th century society to reveal the expectations and limitations of noble women and how they deal with these expressions. His case continues to appeal to historians and readers, vividly describing the life hidden within the walls of the monastery of the time, that of Mariana de Leyva Marino. The Virgin Mary, also known as Sweat, offers a fascinating and disturbing view of the reality faced by noble women forced into monastic life in the 16th and 17th centuries. His story, marked by the scandal of forced hermitage after his mother's death and the shaking of the foundations of St. Margaret's Monastery, reveals the tension between religious ethics and personal aspirations. The tragedy of Sweat in Virginia Maria, which ended in her condemnation and isolation, highlights the serious consequences of the rigid social norms of the time. This narrative resonates continuously in literature and history, and makes people have a deeper understanding of the power, gender and religious dynamics in the society at that time. In Alessandro Manzoni's Monarch of Monza and Promises Posse, the character is a lasting testament to the complexity and influence of his life. For those who wish to explore this interesting chapter of history and its cultural influence further, it is recommended to read and promise Posi and visit the historical records of Lombardy during the relevant period. This exploration will not only enrich Virginia Marican's understanding of life, but also enable us to appreciate more widely the social and religious forces that shaped women's lives at that time. May Mariana de Leyva's story inspire reflection on women's struggles and resilience throughout history, and encourage a continuous and in-depth study of these historical narratives.